The purpose of high school, from my perspective as a labor economist, is to help young people prepare to make a transition into adulthood, into economic self-sufficiency, even, you know, sort of more importantly, a kind of uh, rewarding, engaging, work adult life. Most people don't end up being physicists. And so, so I think that getting a foundation in math and getting a foundation in science is really important to being um, citizens of the future. Learning how to um, think critically and question what the person on the television is saying. How to ask enough questions such that you get a sense as to whether what you're hearing is reliable or not. All those things I think start in high school. In engineering, it's mostly what I teach is, uh, is problem solving. The ability to um, to think about a problem and develop a solution, go down a particular path, and be flexible to, to pivot when your when your idea doesn't uh, doesn't work out, but you know there's still a solution along the way. We could talk about what makes people successful at work, what makes people successful at life. We should also talk about what makes people successful as citizens, what makes them good community members. And hopefully a bunch of these things overlap with each other in meaningful ways that people who are you know, thoughtful, reflective individuals and good citizens can think creatively at problems, look at different fields, figure out who they should ask or who else might be helpful in having them understand something. I think that if high schools could help facilitate students' interest and passion, but, but still keep some of the depth of understanding of particular topics, I think that's what's actually um, actually critical. We're not running out of jobs. The, the challenge is that jobs that pay well and have a career trajectory and some security require skills. And that's why people need to move into domains where we retain comparative advantage. And those are things that require us to use expertise, to use judgment, to use creativity, of course, to use empathy, right, ability to relate to others, uh, to communicate, to organize, to lead, uh, to see the big picture. So I think in terms of preparing young people for a changing world, the fundamentals like, you know, learning how to write really well, learning how to think analytically and critically and write a piece of writing that's persuasive to your audience, whoever that audience is. It's actually something I think about, well, I worry about a lot about that, um, in terms of, um, you know, how should we teach in order to have people prepared for um, how the world is changing. One of the aspects that, uh, that makes me feel at least comfortable in my own job in terms of preparing students for the future of work is that uh, there's so many challenges in the world. And when I list challenges, I list water, food, inexpensive health care for all, uh, energy, how are we going to, um, to be able to have the, the, the energy to enable the increased population of the planet. People's flexibility, their problem solving capability, their ability to communicate with others to work in teams, those will remain valuable. So even though the working world is changing a lot, the set of human skills that make us flexible, adaptable, reactive, communicative, those are not hard to predict which of those will remain quite, quite important. Creative thinking and creative problem solving are going to be critical. I know that um, communication and teamwork is going to be critical. And it's hard for me to believe that that, um, that passion and curiosity aren't going to be important in, in, in solving those problems. Our responsibility is to, is to teach the next generation such that they are completely fearless in saying we're going to make the world better.